Yo, what is going on guys, it's Cryptic TMG, back of a brand new video, and this time we're going to be bringing you some footage from the PlayStation, and um, what I actually did is I, I had my race for AOR for around Zelda last week, and I decided to actually jump on my PS4 and sort of try and compare, you know, where the cars are, how the cars feel, so I actually went um, and set up a lobby with the exact same settings as what we was doing for the race in AOR, which is about 35 track temp, I believe, so it was pretty hot. I wanted to sort of gauge whereabouts, you know, where, you know, if, if the games had been put into line now, whether PC and PlayStation were in line and whether the times would be similar and whatnot. Um, and what, what I did find definitely with, with PlayStation is that for me, there is, it seems to me, there seems to be a little bit more rear grip, a little bit more grip out of the corners. You can kind of get your foot down a little bit sooner, but the trade-off for that seems to be the braking. The brakes are just not as sharp. Um, I feel like you have to break maybe 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 about you know 10 10 meters earlier on on PlayStation which was when I first um, started doing laps on PlayStation um, it did kind of catch me out a little bit um, how early you had to break compared to what I was used to um, but I, I did get used to it I, I still think on the fastest lap that I did do around here it I kind of made a little mistake um, in, in towards the last sector and I, I could when I look at the sector times I can see that is where the bulk of the time that I'm missing is definitely in the breaking zones but um other than that i have to say playstation console has done a pretty good job in terms of sorting out the sort of delay in the wheel i did remember um you know before when i tried it previously there was just a, a, a like a weird delay whenever you would turn the wheel it's like the, it just wasn't it didn't feel connected um but now it feels a lot more natural when i tried it it definitely feels a lot more natural didn't really struggle with turning in or anything like that like i used to um, which is one of the reasons why I just just didn't want to play the game on, on console, but um, felt pretty decent. I actually have some wheel settings that I, I made for myself on, on PlayStation that kind of made it feel as close as I could get it to how it feels on the PC. And I was pretty happy with it, so I'll be sharing the wheel settings as well. I um, hope you guys do enjoy the video, man. You can see, you know, I, I think I managed a 27.5 and I think my fastest lap I, I probably could have done on on PC when we was doing the qualifying for AOR was probably around a probably around a 27.3. Um on, on PS4 I managed a 20 27 8 but I did make a mistake in the last sector which I, I think I would have been able to probably get like a 27 6. So I think there's a there's definitely a few temps in it around around Zelda. Um primarily because of the breaking situation but I do feel like there's not a massive difference in terms of lap time between the two platforms so I would say for, for Zelda, what I tried, I would say it's definitely a couple of attempts down on PC. Um, but saying that, um, the cars felt pretty decent, man. And the setup, the setup I had on on the PC that I transferred over to PS4, most of it was fine. But I did have to make adjustments to sort of get the car responding in the same way. So just bear that in mind. I don't think yet all the setups do transfer like for like i do think there's small adjustments you have to make to, to get the best out of it on the console but had that being said i still think you can take the bulk of a pc setup and still use it on the ps4 so anyway i do hope you guys do enjoy the video script at tmg like and subscribe let's get stuck into this so if possible you're going to want to have access to a pc or a laptop of some kind because you're going to want to make sure you keep the your wheel up to date especially um your frostmaster will you want to download the latest drivers to make sure you're getting sort of the latest update to the wheel that keeps everything above board because in new updates they can sort of fiddle with things that are gonna maybe help the, the wheel react better in in the actual game so um i have my wheel updated for the latest drivers for t300 and these are my settings my individual settings that i have in the control panel for the Frostmaster. um i have 60 overall strength then my periodic and my constant are on 100 and then i've completely got rid of the damper and the spring setting so that's down to zero and these settings are sort of you know what are sort of pro programmed into your wheel so once you've done that and then you jump on the game you actually have default settings will be the, the ones you actually set up in your control panel and then once you get on the game you then edit the settings to, to further improve the feeling of the wheel those are the settings i have on pc now the settings i actually use on the ps4 and you can see i have my gain on 55 then i put the minimum force to four percent um dynamic damping i put it to about 120 um i felt like I, I always sort of struggled with the the wheel not feeling i didn't feel the wheel weight through certain corners on console so um 
between the, the minimum force and the dynamic damping, I think I've managed to get a nice sort of balance. Then I've put the road surface to about 10%. I didn't want to feel like the curbs just crazy heavy or, you know, the road surface just rumbling away when I'm driving down the straights. Um, steering lock is my own preference. I have it on 540. It just felt right for me. And it's what I was quickest with when I did go onto the um, PS4. And um, steering scale left at 100. Um, I, you, again, I, fit, I, figured, I fiddled around a little bit with the brake gamma, went up, went down, and I settled around in about 125, and still, I still feel like I was making mistakes in the braking, but um, yeah, it didn't feel too bad, but here's a lap. I hope you guys do enjoy it. Um, I'll, I'll catch you guys in the replay and show you where I feel like I could have gained a lot more time. Let's watch the lap, though. So we managed a 27.8, but you saw at the second to last corner, we did make a mistake and we just never managed to get the nose in. That's why I felt like I lost quite a bit of time um, in the last sector. But, you know, for, for me, you know, being a little bit nervous on the brakes, not feeling entirely confident, it does affect, you know, especially some of the entries to the corners, man. And I, I sort of just, you know, settled on just breaking a tad bit early, but I still felt like that maybe if I could have just got it a little bit better, um, there is time to be gained, man. And one thing I did notice as well is that the car did not seem to ride the curb. This chicane in particular did not seem to ride this chicane as well as it does on PC. Um, I felt like even with the same damper settings, my car on PC seemed to hit that curb with minimal issue. And I did get unsettled a few times when I tried it. This chicane here, what I actually preferred about the chicane on PS4 is Actually, when you when you get on the throttle, you know you don't get the back end snap. You're able to just get straight, put your foot down, and it, there was no sort of you know kick out at the rear end. And you know, it, it, for me, it was a little bit easier. Again, when you see me go into the last chicane, that's the mistake I made there. Never got the nose in a little bit, a little bit wide on entry. Never managed to kiss the apex, but through the exit of this chicane, I would have to say it was definitely a lot easier on console because 
when you get on the power too soon on PC, the back end really just tend to go a little bit in this corner. But it was easy just to put my foot down the throttle. So yeah, really enjoyed the lap. Um, didn't feel too bad actually on, on console, and I definitely feel like he's getting there. What I would like to see more of is a little bit more support for for the console guys. Maybe um, there used to be an app that you used to be able to get on your phone when P cars one and P cars two, and you could just check over the telemetry and stuff like that because. I feel like there is certain things um, on ACC that sometimes you need to be able to comb through a little bit of telemetry to just, you know, be able to improve certain things. Again, things like the getting the absolute correct tire pressures. I believe the tire pressures on Motec are a little bit more accurate than the game. So again, there, I remember there used to be a, a little app you was able to download for your phone on, on was it PCars 1 and 2? I can't remember what it's called, but... Um, Again, something like that I feel like would help. Um, and please sort out of the view settings. If you could just, just be able to edit your FOV to suit the size of your screen and stuff like that, I feel that's a massive help as well. And for me personally, I use a similar view to what I do, what I did in this video, but I do have it a little bit more zoomed in just to go with, you know, the size of my size of my monitor and stuff like that. Um, I think that view settings shouldn't, I mean, is it that hard to implement into the game? I don't know. But um, yeah, but anyway, you can see the times where I started off. It took me about nine laps to sort of get up to speed. Um, started off quite off the pace, I would say. Um, but you can see the settings that we use, about 35 Celsius, track temp, um, 28 air, I believe it was. So uh, yeah, pretty hot conditions for the race. Again, it was almost spot on to what we had for the AOR race for PC as well. Um, but yeah, as you guys can see, it's not too far off PC, I would say, man. Max, maximum around Zolder, I would say about half a second. But um, other than that, it's Crypto TMG. Like and subscribe, hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. And peace.